So the aircraft was pressurized, but only certain segments of the aircraft were actually pressurized. The cockpit segment, the gunnery segment connected through the tunnel, and the tail gunner's position were pressurized. The bomb bays were not, so they were sealed off with pressure bulkheads. They typically flew uh, all their high altitude stuff, anything above 8,000 feet, they flew pressurized. But they would actually unpressurized for combat. That way any battle damage incurred would not be nearly as catastrophic. And then after combat, uh, and they left the area, they would repressurize, assuming they didn't have too much battle damage.